Now this is my latest iteration of the Robot Gripper. This time I've replaced the uh, remote control vehicle differential with a 3D printed one and that seems to have uh, made it quite a bit better. Uh, the other change to the drive is the uh, unpowered fingers are now connected to the powered fingers via a gear on the short arm instead of the long arm which allows uh, for a smaller cog that, that stays out of the way. Uh, I replaced the fixed gripper with these Finrail style grippers um, which have some advantages and some disadvantages. I had trouble 3D printing them uh, at first. You can see here, originally I tried adding more uh, shells to the to the print, but the Finray style grippers gain most of their uh, strength from the, the bonding between the vertical layers. So actually this was a, a very bad idea. So I switched down to a single layer uh, and the results uh, were much better. I also slowed the printing style down um, from from this one to the, the subsequent ones uh, and it has made it stronger again. So the grippers uh, work quite well for um, lighter objects. You can see here they conform to the cup quite nicely. This gripper was the original design which is thinner and more flexible. This is in a later design which was stiffer. Uh, in fact, it's too stiff, so it, this design is not as good. It doesn't conform correctly to the object. The thinner ones are good for this weight. Uh, when I pick up something like the screwdriver, they also work very well, fitting in nicely. Uh, but if I try to pick up something heavier, they just slip off. So... Some mixed results there. I think maybe the ultimate style gripper will be a combination of fixed and flexible. Um, so this design, in summary, was better because of the 3D printed differential, smaller gears, but worse because the grippers don't have the strength for the heavier applications. If I restrict it to smaller loads, then actually the design is quite nice.